Republican former President Donald Trump held a rally in Allentown, Pennsylvania, a city with a large Hispanic population, where fellow Republican Senator, Marco Rubio of Florida, condemned some garbled remarks by President Joe Biden that appeared to call some of Trump's supporters garbage. Biden joined a Tuesday video call with the civic group Voto Latino and denounced comments that equated Puerto Rico to an island of garbage at a Sunday Trump rally at Madison Square Garden. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters, the president said. His, his demonization of Latinos is unconscionable and it's un-American. Rubio told the crowd that Biden was talking about everyday Americans who love their country. I hope their campaign is about to apologize for what Joe Biden just said. We are not garbage. We are patriots who love America, Rubio said. Later on, Trump insisted that he had done more for Puerto Rico than any president I think that's ever been president, claiming historic funding in a hospital ship after a hurricane hit the territory in 2017. Today they're busing people, you know, they're in a place in Washington and they're bus, they got buses all up, they're busing people because they couldn't get anybody to show up for her tonight. I didn't bus anybody, you're all here, this place is back. She can't, she can't get anybody. Three days ago she said Beyonce was coming. So people came to see Beyonce, but Beyonce went up, thank you very much, everybody, and then she left. She didn't sing. And then they all left. She was speaking, nobody, and they were booing the hell out of her, by the way. That real, we want a big, beautiful number. We're leading, but great. We're doing great in Nevada. We're doing great, great in Arizona. We're doing great, really good in North Carolina. How about the people of North Carolina? They showed up to vote in record numbers, and the place was practically demolished by Hurricane Helene. I was worried about that. I said, North Carolina, we thought maybe 50 percent, maybe 40 or 30 percent would show up. More people showed up to vote for this election than any election in the history of North Carolina. Is that right, thus far? Can you believe it? They set a record. And they're voting for Trump. All right. Well, I wasn't going to say anything, but I have breaking news for you, Mr. President. You may not have heard this. Just moments ago, Joe Biden stated that our supporters are garbage. Are garbage. He's talking about the Border Patrol. He's talking about nurses. He's talking about teachers. He's talking about everyday Americans who love their country and want to dream big again and support you, Mr. President. And I hope their campaign is about to apologize for what Joe Biden just said. We are not garbage. We are patriots who love America. And thank you for running, Mr. President. I don't know, right? We got so many other things we can do. We don't. And I'm so proud that we're getting support from Latinos like never before. We're setting every record. Hispanics, Latinos. Nobody loves our Latino community and our Puerto Rican community more than I do. Nobody. You know, it's interesting because I've done more for Puerto Rico than any president by far. Nobody close. I provided historic funding and the hospital ship when we had, they were hit with a couple of really bad ones right in the road. We got the ship over there with thousands of rooms, actually. It was amazing. A floating hospital, the biggest in the world. I will deliver the best future for Puerto Ricans and for Hispanic Americans.
Ramzan Kadyrov, the protégé of Russian dictator Vladimir Putin in the Chechen Republic of Ichkeria, which was captured by the Russian armed forces, has once again decided to drive away the show-off by demonstrating push-ups from chairs right at a meeting in the Kremlin, according to Huckleberry Finn's blog. While the Kremlin brass, among whom one can see the head of the Russian foreign ministry, Sergei Lavrov, were discussing some personal matters, Kadyrov decided to show how strong he was, went up to the chairs, leaned against the backs and started doing push-ups. It is worth noting that at the angle chosen by Kadyrov, the physical load is minimal. Nevertheless, as the video showed, the Chechen Viceroy only did three push-ups, after which he stopped his strange exercise, glancing at the group of Russian officials. He failed to attract the latter's attention. But no one, including Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, who was also in attendance, seemed to be giving the bloodthirsty warlord the time of day, leaving him glumly leaning on two chairs. By the way, Kadyrov regularly demonstrates his power. Thus, on the hotline with the head of Chechnya, he did 35 push-ups and did the push-ups dirty, which led to criticism on the internet. He also likes to show off the bench press, although recently he has been photographed more often against the background of the equipment and can only pretend to start doing this exercise. In addition, Kadyrov often poses in boxing gloves and pretends to train in this difficult and dangerous sport. This isn't his first attempt to convince the world of his vitality. In his previous stunts, Kadyrov has channeled his inner Sylvester Stallone, training with rocks and pretending to tow an sport utility vehicle all on his own. One comment by opposition channel Gulagu Channel said, For whom did Ramzan decide to film this and why did he think that there were so many idiots around. It only takes a minute for any amateur athlete, not to mention a professional, to understand the level of Kadyrov's physical fitness. It's simply not good. He pushes and puffs with 7 kilograms and 14 kilogram dumbbells used by young girls and aspiring teenagers to warm up. Gulagu wrote, It is obvious that the idea to film this video failed and its authors made Ramzan out to be a clown and a weakling. The same week, he was seen speaking slowly in a monotone to his top aides, many of them uniformed in a video released to show he was in control. Kadyrov is one of Vladimir Putin's closest allies who has supplied tens of thousands of troops for his illegal war in Ukraine.